the world record, an incredible 3.15.92, again to the German Democratic Republic back in 1984. And having talked all this week about the retirement of the great Muddy de Kock, delighted to see her sitting down with uh, her fiancé, or she got married now, her coach. They were here having dinner last night, so she'll be one that's watching this very closely indeed. We've seen the Americans uh, overtake the East German squad in the 4x100, and this is going to be an interesting. There's no way that uh, this is going to be dominated from start to finish as the East German crack squads used to do in the past. And in fact, uh, the American girl, Diane Dixon, has gone off incredibly well, really hard into the back straight. There she is in the middle of the picture, wearing the white USA, in lane five. And she's closed down on Canada's Charmaine Crooks and Uta Thiem of West Germany and the French girl Simon. She's had a good leg, but Neubauer is going well on her inside. And so is the Soviet girl, Yurchenko. And we'll not really be able to see who's in the lead until they've handed over the baton to the uh, number two leg and they've run the first bend of the next lap. The West German girl coming back a little bit, Uta Tim, and uh, Yurchenko's had a good leg, but so too all three girls there, Diane Dixon, Yurchenko and Neubauer, all ran exceptionally well, and those three lanes are pulling away, and they're almost together, and it's Deneen Howard that wants to cut across, and Kirstin Emmerman wants to hold her out, and Kirstin Emmerman does hold her out, and it's the German Democratic Republic that take the lead from the... Uh, American squad from the Soviet Union and then the Canadians are seven meters back of that and the West Germans another five meters back again the Jamaicans another five meters back again then Bulgaria so the East German girl is now beginning to make here's the woman that had the bronze medalist in the 400 Kirsten Emmerman and she's had a very good leg indeed and Deneen Howard is struggling a little bit against the challenge of Olga Natarova of the Soviet Union but she's battled back and there's a five meter lead and it's, and it's a bad change for the Americans. There was real trouble there as Valerie Briscoe, with all her experience, just uh, scrambled about to get the baton clear, uh, clear. And suddenly Petra Muller, second in the individual 400, has got away to a commanding lead. Now, the East Germans feared the last leg from the Soviet Union with Britskina on that leg. And they wanted a big lead from Petra Muller. And they're getting it now. She really is running well. And she's running away from the very experienced Olga Pinigina. And, of course, the three times gold medalist from the 84 Olympic Games, Valerie Briscoe. Valerie Briscoe trying to reach out and come wide, but the Soviet girl, Pinagina, is holding her off, and the East Germans suddenly have a very big lead indeed to give Sabine Bush the individual winner of the 400 metres hurdles. Soviet Union safely away, and now Lily Leatherwood King safely away, who was fifth in the 400. So there's a lot of ground to make up. And it's doubtful whether even the individual champion, Olga Britskina, who incidentally finished very, very fast indeed. We used to know her as Olga Vladyakina, but uh, this has been a good... She's closing her down, it's not going to be easy. Neubauer had run 51-2, Emmerman 49-1, Muller 48-9, but they need a very good leg because this Soviet girl, the individual winner of the 400 metres, is a real sprinter. And Britskina trying to close down, but Bush has a lot of experience. Two gold medalists battling it out. The winner of the 400 metre hurdles holding off the individual winner of the 400 metres with Lily Leatherwood King coming up for the bronze medal. Canada are going to get fourth, then West Germany, Jamaica, France and Bulgaria. And that leg of Sabine Bush, that final leg, she ran in 49.5 and it's yet another gold medal to the German Democratic Republic. What a world championships they're having and they do have another first-class quartet that have brought them home another gold.